Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us for our Tuesday update for February the 7th. And we are tracking a tropical storm up in the Coral Sea. It's likely to become a cyclone this week and may well become a severe tropical storm, category three or above. This is it right now, up here just south of the Solomon Islands, east of Queensland. It is going to be tracking out at sea for the next few days ahead, gathering more strength as we get towards the end of the week. And then it drifts towards New Zealand as we head in towards Sunday and the start of next week. There's a lot of uncertainty still about what it might do in the New Zealand area, but the risk is certainly there for it to come in with wind and rain there is still some chance it may remain out at sea, but it's one to keep a very close eye on because when they come in from this direction towards New Zealand, the wind and the rain sort of is, is leading that system as it moves in towards us. Sometimes when they come in from the more Fiji side, uh, that wind and rain can be further out to the east. So this one is one to keep a close eye on, especially considering the severe weather we've already seen in the past couple of weeks. On our usual uh, animated wind map, it's a little bit slower, but you can see the moisture on this one in the atmosphere. So the bright blue area, that's all that tropical moisture. So this system really is in the perfect area to get bigger and deeper and stronger over the next few days. There is a cooler southerly flow coming through around parts of Australia. That is on its way for New Zealand as well. But once that clears through in a few days time, this system has a fairly clear path down towards the New Zealand area. Take a look at the current thinking of tracking. This is from the Bureau of Meteorology in Australia. So low pressure at the moment, around about Thursday morning or maybe later on Wednesday, just depends on precise timing, when it's likely to be named, category one, and then it gets to category two and three. So very quickly, it goes up in strength and remains a severe category three storm. And it has the potential to go above that, uh, as it moves down towards the New Zealand area. But look, as it moves into the New Zealand area, that's when the question mark gets bigger. There are variables in here with high pressure to the east and further to the south. That's going to be a controlling feature once it comes into the New Zealand area. So definitely one to keep a close eye on. Of course, you can see the maps. If you go to our website, click on maps and radars and the drop down go to wind. You can see these new wind maps from Predict Wind. This is comparing the UK model with the uh, American model, uh, sorry, the European model. So that's the UK one, the European one side by side. As you can see, they're almost identical. And the GFS one from America, very similar today uh, as well. So we'll show you that at the very end of this broadcast, what they are saying for the end of the week. But you can see these animated maps on our website now, thanks to Predict Wind. Here is the forecast. So on Wednesday, let's start with the South Island, not the tropics. You've got a cold change, and it is a cold change. The high in Gore the next couple of days is around 13 degrees. That's for Wednesday and Thursday as that colder change comes in. Now, you might get a little bit warmer than that if you're lucky, especially if you're sheltered from the southerly flow. But this is a cold change for this time of the year, and there might even be a little dusting of snow up on the mountains. So um, I'm laughing a little bit because it's kind of weird. But then February, February a year ago, we had frosts in Southland. So this does sometimes happen very briefly. Summer comes back by the weekend. Pretty settled in the north. That humidity takes a little bit of a break for you as well on Wednesday after what has been a very humid past couple of weeks in northern New Zealand. Okay, by Thursday, oh, and yes, sorry, there's a tro tropical cyclone out here too, currently called Freddy. That one is not posing a threat to land. So we've got this storm here deepening further on Thursday. Queensland, bit of rain and a little bit of wind in the coastal areas. Nothing too severe at this stage. New Zealand still has the cooler southerly flow. Temperatures are down, a few showers here and there. Those in the north of both main islands, uh, around the Nelson Marlborough area and up around, you know, uh, Northland and Coromandel and uh, also Bay of Plenty, those places won't really be noticing that southerly change. Beautiful sunny weather on the way for you. Now on Friday, there is a slight easterly flow kicking in for northern New Zealand. So that brings in a couple of showers around Hawke's Bay, Gisborne, Coromandel, maybe into Auckland as well. Mostly dry and settled elsewhere, a lot of high pressure over you. But you can see up here, there is that severe, probably category three or maybe four, tropical cyclone moving out of the Coral Sea area in towards the Tasman Sea. So that starts to change the structure of the storm. But look, it's still a very deep storm. It's likely to be at its biggest, we think, around about Friday and Saturday. 
So that's getting close to the New Zealand area. And with our easterly flow that's already around, this is only going to start to enhance that as we move through the weekend. May not really notice it too much on Saturday. Clouds increasing though around Northland. This is a major storm. If this is the way it pans out, this is a significant storm to keep an eye on. Now on Sunday, the, the low itself may just start to show signs of weakening. Um, going through that extra tropical phase as it starts to leave the tropics and the warm core starts to change to a colder uh, system. And so you end up with the storm kind of growing in size. So they can change a lot of structure as they move in. That's the reason why there's another part of uncertainty on precise tracking as it moves into the New Zealand area. But as you can see here, as we go through uh, into the weekend here on Sunday, that is a windy and wet day starting now for northern New Zealand. So what happens on Monday? Well, now we're going to compare three international models that we rely on a lot uh, to sort of give you a, a feeling as to where it might go. So the American model, GFS, shows it here at lunchtime Monday, uh, directly north of Northland, 986 as the air pressure. Now you compare that with ECMWF, not a great deal of change. European model, slightly deeper, down at 979, and basically directly due north of Cape Brianga. So very similar placement to the American modeling. And then we take a look at the UK modeling and that's also very similar. Uh, same air pressure as the American model and a little bit further north. Now sometimes they um, underestimate that, uh, that low pressure. It can be um, actually deeper than what they're saying. But at the moment we're seeing sort of around the 970s, 980s by Monday. But there's also high pressure out here. And this is a big guiding part because it only has to push back a little bit and it keeps that system further north or it changes the airflow. And so there's still a lot of moving parts. So this is not locked in. But as you can see from those three computer models, there's certainly enough uh, confidence there for us to start talking about it. And so are Matt Service, they're already uh, mentioning it. They don't usually mention tropical cyclones a week out. So that sort of gives you a feeling that this one is looking quite likely to come into our area. But as far as severe weather in New Zealand is concerned, that is not yet locked in. But a moderate risk, I would say, for wind and rain for the top half of the North Island. That is all from me for today. Back again tomorrow as we continue to update this. And remember, go to our website, uh, weatherwatch.co.nz, click on maps and radars, and, and then the wind area. That will help you find maps where you can compare all those various models thanks to Predict Wind. That's all from me. We'll see you tomorrow Wednesday with our next update.